Hi, welcome back to the Keto's YouTube channel. Today we're gonna take a look at a really cool feature that allows you to have any device, even if they're not managed by an MDM, to connect to your network, either using Entr ID or using certificates. So for this, we're gonna create our Wi-Fi profiles. This assumes that you already have your policies and you have your radio service set up. And once you have that, we can go here to manage Wi-Fi profiles. What this allows us to create is basically create the Wi-Fi profile that you would create at an MDM, but this will allow you to email it to your users, making it that even if they have a phone that is not managed by your organization, they can connect to your Wi-Fi even using a certificate. So in here I have two examples. I have one using a certificate, uh, which uses uh, EZCA, and then the other one using Entry ID. So basically when you're coming into here, you'll select your profile name, and let's say we're gonna call it student Wi-Fi, and it's gonna ask you to select your, your radius policy. In this case, we're gonna select the test policy, and it asks you for your SSID name, and this has to be exactly what your SSID name is because this is what it's gonna tell your devices connect to this SSID. You enter the network security, so WPA2 or 3, and then you select EAP TLS. So if you're using EZCA, you can select that it will actually create the certificate and send it to your users. So in here, we will select the instance that we're using. And for this, you have to create a self-service profile. For that, it's super simple as well. We go to your EZCA, we go to certificate authorities, we find a SCEP certificate authority. So in this case, my SCEP certificate authority is my Intune CA. And you go here and you enter, same, you're creating kind of like a profile where your users can come in and create it without having to have an MDM. So let's say we call it Wi-Fi. Well, actually I have one here pre-filled out so I don't have to fill it out, Wi-Fi auth. We set the certificate duration shorter than uh, Intune since this is you know, it can be installed anywhere. And then same, we have uh, values that you can do and you can see all the different values, dynamic values that you can set up in our documentation. And in here, you can see that I set up user principal name, email address, and I even hard coded the ketos.io. So you can see that you can also hard code values, for example, your VLAN or something like that. Then after that, you select your key usages, enhanced key usages, and you can block it so, so only certain people in your organization can have it. So you can do only people in the students group uh, get access to this, or you can make it that everybody in the organization gets access to this as well as other tenants. Once you kind of finalize that, you go all the way to the top and you click save changes. We go back to radius. And if you just created it just how I did, you would have to maybe switch out to another instance and then come back here just so it refreshes. So in here you can see the Wi-Fi auth and same in here, you can assign it to all your users or a specific group or anything like that. After that, you're gonna click create Wi-Fi profile. That's gonna create one of the profiles. I'm not gonna do it since I already did it down here. And you can, you have two options. So now we have created the profile and this is a great way to test. So if you're just start getting started and you just wanna test that instead of waiting for Intune to push the policy and everything, you can just download the profiles, install them in your computer and, and test. So then after that, we can go here and click create and you can send it to, to a specific user or you can send it to all users. Um, and then after that, the users can also come in. So, you, you know, you don't want the admin to have to be emailing everybody. So the other option is the users can come into EZCA, click the Wi-Fi profiles and download the, the right profile. What this is gonna do, what this is gonna do, even if you notify the, by email or they come and download the, the profile, it is gonna send them an email saying, for example, this is an Apple email, access to your Wi-Fi and how to do it. It will give them step-by-step -step instructions on how to install it and then they're good to go. So they would download that profile, install it, and then they can access your Wi-Fi.
And when their certificate is about to expire, they're automatically going to get a, a new email with a brand new certificate. They just have to install it and they're good to go. So that's how you can do it. Obviously, it is more comfortable if you have an MDM, but this closes the gap for people that do not. Thank you for watching and please let us know if you have any questions.